Christos Yagos. Yagos is seven years older than the Armenian. He is also three inches taller. Reach edge of one inch lies with the ranked fighter, Armand Sarukia. Here's Joe Martinez. All five fans, we are set to go with the next fight tonight. Three rounds this in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a boxer, wrestler, standing 5 feet 10 inches tall. Weighing at officially 155 and one half pounds. His record stands at 19 victories with eight defeats. Fighting out of Deerfield Beach, Florida. Here is Christos, the Spartan Yagos. And across the octagon, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. His background is wrestling and kickboxing. At five feet, seven inches tall, he weighed in also 155 and one half pounds in 18 fights. His record stands at 16 victories with two defeats, fighting out of Krasnodar, Russia, by way of Yerevan, Armenia. Here is Arman Ahokarakitsarukia! And your referee in charge of the action is Herb Dean. Herb Dean steps back right, into the right, octagon right, for this fight the featuring the biggest favorite on your fight card tonight. Armand Sarukian is minus 800 as the red, highly touted red, prospect red. now ranked contender on the rise. He's in the red. This fight clock is brought to you by Modelo. Christos Yagos looking to cash that big underdog ticket is in the white. Yes, he was making his walk, I was saying. The wrestling on Sarukian is ridiculous. And then also when you combine that with the striking ability that he has and the diverse arsenal that he also has is a real problem for a lot of people. Only person to beat him so far in the octagon is Islam Makhachev. And as we know, that guy is the real deal. And in fact, he wants to fight him again. And most people, you know, hearing people call out right. Islam Makhachev. Sarukian spent the last six weeks at American Top Team down in Florida. And Christos Yagos, one month ago, moved to Florida to train at Sanford MMA. So similar circles in South Florida. Yagos able to win that scramble. Yeah, nicely done. I haven't seen that happen before. Really heavy hips. Good position now. Let's see what Sarukian's got off his back. Typically, we see him in the driver's seat in the top position. Let's see what he can do off his back. Get his wrist. Corner of Yago saying, get his wrist. Get that wrist. You see the, the hand that's round the back, they want him to grab the wrist, but Sarukian's almost up. up. Hands on the break. Nicely done. That position good. Hips in. Grab my glove. Second appearance. Don't grab oh. Keep, there. Keep your fingers out. Yep, the protest is the glove from Yagos. Yagos, as I was about to say, second appearance of 2021. He fought in front of a full crowd in Houston back in May. Got a performance of the night bonus win over Sean Soriano, who he now trains with, oddly enough. And he's certainly riding the best form of his career. Yeah, Yago's in four of his last five. Go he's ahead. a complete threat. Excellent. Oh, oh, Sarukian backs him up. Sarukian is bouncing now. This is it. They're heavy shots. Hammering away with the left. Now oh, with the right. No, this one could be close to done. Wow. Armand Sarukian. That's what he wanted. An exclamation point and a first round finish in Vegas. That was incredible. And Yagos got off to a really good start, defended that takedown, got on top, got top position. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Orman Sorukian is the real deal. You got to keep an eye on this guy. Just 24 years old. Let's take a look. Throws the kick, boom, left up on the chin, puts him down, sees his hurt, and then starts swarming all over him. He was doing a good job of covering up as well. And Herb Dean gave Christos Yagos a lot of opportunity because he was defending well. But it was just the power of those shots. The ground and pound was absolutely phenomenal. And the, the vicious intent of every single blow that he was throwing, Herb Dean had no choice. Wow. Armand Sarukian is now riding a four-fight win streak. He's got six wins by knockout. And his seventh first round finish goes down inside the UFC apex. We will hear from him coming up next.
Make sure you catch ESPN's two new MMA shows on Mondays. Start your week with the Chael Sonnen Show with George Sedano. And then on Wednesdays, catch DC and RC featuring UFC legend Daniel Cormier and Super Bowl champ and UFC superfan Ryan Clark. Both shows can be streamed on ESPN+. Plus, and you can also watch DC and RC on YouTube. And you can listen wherever you download your podcasts. Back inside the octagon, we go to Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at the official time. Two minutes, nine seconds. Round number one, we have your winner by TKO Arman Ahalkalaket Sarukia. All right, I'm here with your winner. A very, very impressive Arman Sarukian. Arman, that's five wins in a row, but four of those were decisions. You said this week, the only thing that I need, the only thing I'm thinking about is getting a finish. Well, you certainly got that, you know. Uh, last four fight I had, last de decision, and Sean Shelby said, you have to, you have to, like, do a finish if you want to grow up, you know. And now I did it, and I think... I can fight in top, top 10, top 5, guys. Let's go. I'm ready. Well, you certainly have the skill for that. And speaking of top 5, top 10 guys, do you have a name that you'd like to call out? Yeah, I want to beat Hooker. Let's go. Let's do it. I heard he has problem next week. He can't come. If uh, UFC wants, I can change him. Well, I don't make the fast, but that's something that I certainly sign off on. Congratulations on an amazing performance. Armin Sarukian, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All team my, who helped with me. American top team, Russia, Sergei Tarasan. All of guys who helped, who helped with me. Thank you very much. One more time, Armin Sarukian. So Dan Hooker was the call-out for Armand Sarukian. Hooker, meanwhile, is doing everything he can to get cleared to come into the United States next week. He's got a fight coming up, he hopes. But those two have been going back and forth on social media. We'll see what's next for